Hey Virgo, welcome back to House of Virgo. This is Kelly. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe. If you enjoy the reading, keep in mind this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This channel is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And even the cross watchers. Okay, Virgos, let's get into this. Um, also, if you would like to book a personal reading, um, with Brandy or Casey, there is a link in the description box that'll take you to my website and you can book your, your, um, tower reading with them. I'm not taking anyone new at this time, but if you've booked with me before, you can book with me again. Okay. You have coffin, not today. All right, Virgo and photograph. Okay. So something's ended Virgo. So there can be a new beginning. There's growth, change, liberation, transition. Not today, not dealing with hurt. You had this card yesterday. Avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries. Maybe still angry and very similar. Someone's looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia. What is this, a repeat of yesterday, <laughs> Virgo? Um, I mean, I mean, we can get into this again if you want, but it feels like something is over and you don't want to be bothered and um, two people know something is over two people are not talking to anyone at this time and maybe two people are still looking at each other's photographs or um, are looking at pics at two people missing each other or just one all right Virgo show us a romance angels what's the message here I mean, there's definitely an energy of um, someone's thinking about you, even though something's over and ended and you may not be speaking to someone. Oh my gosh, this is so much of, like, uh, seriously, why don't we just end the reading now and I, I just tell you to go back to yesterday's reading, reconciliation, someone from your past still coming back here, Virgo, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't like I just shuffle and whatever flips out, you know, these are the messages. It's something you need to know. Okay. There's some kind of blockages, religious factors, maybe two people, um, don't believe ones you have different religious beliefs, um, or spiritual beliefs, which could play a role. Okay. And then you've got wedding. I, I feel like, um, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing, spiritual path. Virgo, I feel like if, if you're someone who like, so for example, like if you believe in Allah and this person doesn't, um, I feel like they'll be like, okay, I'll, I'll believe in Allah too. If you, if you don't believe in any kind of God and they do, um, I feel like they might be like, it's okay. I don't, you know, we'll find a way to work it out. Like there is something here where um, I feel like someone, like there is some kind of blockage to do um, with spiritual beliefs, religious upbringing or spiritual path. Um, and Virgo, I, I kind of feel like this might have something to do with, because I feel like somebody might be trying to like, you know, they want to marry you and maybe there's a difference. Um, there might be this thing. Okay. There might be something to do with religious conversion or lack of it. Um, there could just be, uh, there's, it's like, I don't know, two people need to figure out if they're going to get married here. I'm seeing like where that's actually going to, where it's going to happen. Is it going to be like, by the seaside or is it going to be an actual like traditional church like there's something here um where I, I just kind of feel like maybe it's a question you might have or this person's having this question um but i feel like the overall energy is it's like it doesn't matter we'll figure it out we'll make it work or one person will <laughs> convert or just do something 
completely like opposite of what they believe or how they were raised if that makes any sense wow so you have the lovers it was just a big old flip right out of the deck there virgo i mean yeah they're in bikinis but thanks to youtube everybody needs to be dressed <laughs> um so yeah this situation involves marriage i mean this is two people coming together and you know it could be reconciliation or just making a decision to um figure something out to be together so i mean virgo there's a lot of love here i mean this is deep love this is sacred love this is like you know um a decision and i kind of feel like if you're the if you're the feminine you might be very spiritual or religious either one and if you're the masculine you might not be okay but the feminine is because she's looking up at the angel the feminine's looking up at the angel that's where her focus is and the masculine is looking at the feminine for guidance and the, the feminine feminine's looking at the angel for guidance it's interesting okay so all right what the heck's going on of course i just saw the king of swords at the bottom of the deck but you know if it pops back out again you know as usual the king of swords is always in your readings okay let me just grab a, a few cards here to see what this message is i mean there's definitely some plans that are going to be made going forward as far as finding a way to come together um despite some type of beliefs that are different two different beliefs okay um okay well there's the star that's about faith and healing and renewal it's aquarius energy there we have gemini energy okay wow the devil okay so there's definitely something on the table here um it could be about recovery healing from some kind of an addiction or someone who's just kind of living their life in with this devil energy um full of lust um stuck in addiction or obsessions or greed um could be materialism sexual lust it's kind of like they're chained to earthly things i feel like there's someone here who is you know They haven't given over their sins or they haven't they haven't um or they're aware that they have like this devil energy on their back you know and i feel like um this is all about like kind of like recovering from all of that you know um i feel like that might be something for you virgo in connection with this person that you know you're trying to live like a good soulful life or a good spiritual life and i feel like this person there's definitely an apology coming in about something to do with this devil energy you know the devil um can be about recovery in the reverse leaving an abusive situation um and um no longer being attached you know and i feel like there's somebody here who is coming in towards you where they want to be with you and they know that you're if you're the feminine that you're very um spiritual or you live by you know um a higher power so you don't have an ego or anything like that like you believe that there's a greater force out there than yourself you don't think you're the greatest force in the world you're humble and i feel like this person um is going to like i'm just they keep telling me like convert or conversion they like, convert because of that religious factors card i like i seriously didn't see that until that popped up because i wasn't feeling that and until that popped up that was the that's like the biggest thing 
reconcile, to be married, and to sort out whatever the religious difference or spiritual influence is difference, okay? So yeah, Virgo, I feel like somebody's coming in here. So if you're very spiritual or very religious or something along those lines, this person feels like, hey, you know, um, like it just feels that's like very bloody that's a spiritual bloody stuff this is someone who's kind of like coming in very sincerely with the page of cups um and wants to like talk to you and maybe apologize for how you know because it's a reconciliation so that must mean that you're not together and apologize for this devil behavior this their sinful behavior um and try to like like tell you that they're you know they're not living their life like that anymore they don't want to live their life like that anymore you know especially with the star sitting there i mean there's just this like hope faith renewal it's like a miracle wow it's crazy um maybe another miracle on may 20th for some of you um yeah so i feel like this energy is really playing out strong let me see the star what is the star okay yeah, taking that spiritual journey. Oh my gosh, Virgo, this is a very, um, we're hitting on the spiritual topic tonight because this is a very, um, like someone's giving up an addiction and, you know, recovering and, you know, giving it to God or their higher power or giving up these other things. Someone is becoming very spiritual, um, and that's what that eight of cups is like on this with the star like on this like faith and healing journey here okay to why to match the energy you have if if that you know so this reading should resonate for you if when i say that you're on some kind of spiritual journey or something to do with god or you know jesus christ or allah or whomever whatever your religion and faith is if that's you um, I don't know. I feel like this person, not that I don't know, but I feel like in order to be with you, this person, you know, they don't want it to be over. And if this is what they have to do um, to make some kind of conversion or change, I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a surprise. I don't feel like anything's negative about it. Because, I mean, it's one thing to say that, but then actually go through with it, you know, um, there might be like someone who's greek orthodox or um yeah it's very much all about religion and spirituality in this reading um let me see the devil show us the devil okay oh i feel like this person really means it yes really like it's i feel like they're like like they're in a hurry they're being good to be very assertive about this i mean they are just going after you know getting away from this devil and it's the devil energy that has caused them to um that has driven them for a really long time so this is someone maybe obsessed with sex or has some kind of like addiction alcohol drugs gambling whatever it is these temptations you know um chained to sexual promiscuity whatever it might like it could be something along those lines male or female uh, or masculine or feminine but I mean I feel like this person is very serious about um, going on this spiritual journey and also like going at it with you okay so I don't know if this is something that you've been doing or you've always been this way but there's something like it feels like a miracle this is a huge change and that two of wands over there on the left gives me that feeling of like you know standing at the crossroads and ready to ready to take that trip okay making that decision serious decision about converting or changing their ways okay what else yeah two of uh pentacles here okay so that uh, this is basically balancing things out really yeah okay yeah and coming out of their comfort zone and making that transition 
uh, it seems like it's such a big transition. So, you know, if there was some kind of connection you had with someone here, maybe you were married to them or you weren't, but, um, you know, some type of, in uh, it feels like a third party got involved. I'm not seeing this exactly just yet, but between you and this person, or you, between this person, you and the devil, you know, the devil was the third party. And I feel like there's some kind of like an attempt to apologize for, you know, how they let this addiction third party, whatever the devil represents for you, whatever you dealt with, um, them coming in and apologizing for that and how you were hurt or how it hurt you, the actions that they took, you know, I mean, that that's just really like being your your soul's hijacked by the devil so to speak you know um okay so the queen of swords virgo i feel like this is your energy but of course libra gemini aquarius and what do you have to say oh gosh you're speaking truth and righteous and righteousness and justice um and i feel like i don't know you're giving i don't feel like you're arguing or anything but i see you like communicating with this person um, and being clear with them, you know, you might be divorced or you could be single. Um, maybe you're a widow. Um, but I feel like, like total honesty, like, and that's what you're requiring from this person. That's what justice is. You know, this is cause and effect. This is the truth coming out. So that either they're communicating that truth to you or you're communicating it to them. And there's a conversation that happens here. Let me see. There might be some conversation here about like, um, a legal marriage, not so much like a religious marriage. There might be a conversation about some type of a legal, um, a legal marriage or a legal wedding, even something about a prenup for some of you. There might be a conversation about that too. Um, but the Ten of Pentacles is like long-term security, long-term marriage, leaving a legacy, children, family, um, putting roots down, um, Virgo, you seem to me like you're on the straight and narrow. That's what I'm picking up here. I just feel like you're on the straight and narrow. You're living like on the straight and narrow. You're living on like a like a really good life. Family is very important to you. Um, work, health. You know, all the basics, putting roots down, having something structured and long term and, you know, building, having, uh, creating or building a rock solid home or house or, you know, um, I don't know, Virgo, it just feels to me like you're in a, in a, like a realist, you're being a realist. Yeah. It's all about family and commitment and marriage. I mean, I do feel like this person it's definitely going to come in with some kind of apology, but I do feel like there's going to be some kind of communication of how like they're, they freed themselves from their addictions or their issues or whatever, or they're getting out of it or somewhere where they live, where they live, where, you know, they're all around that chaos and, and, um, you know, it's almost impossible to heal in a storm, in the middle of a storm. So they're getting out of this horrible, uh, storm or place that they live that's, conducive to that type of lifestyle because the the knight of swords is a card about lifestyle change so i feel like this person is very serious coming in here about making this lifestyle change okay what is making this person do this oh now there's the king of swords and there's the queen of wands okay there's two people in their life okay there's there's a there's a a couple in their life who are having an influence on them. Oh wow. Oh. Yeah, it feels like this this person, your person here has engaged with this couple in dealing with their their regret, their loss, their grief. It could be, you know, it's a couple. It's um it's another couple that they've talked to, whether it's a couple or a brother and sister, or, you know, um, it could be another Virgo, and it could also be a Leo, 
I'm hearing. It could be um, a Sagittarius. It could be a Cancer I'm picking up. But whoever they talk to, um, this other these other people, um, I feel like they've spilled their guts to this couple. In like either maybe they had a drinking problem and they like spilled too many drinks in their life talking about that or things that they've lost you know um feeling a sense of loss they're in grief you know and so i feel like the king of swords is giving your person you know um some good logic and being like giving them like reasoning things out with them the queen of wands comes across to me as someone who's very inspiring to your person i feel like the queen of wands is having more of a more of a impression because of some type of um her warmth in trying to help whoever your person is here uh let me see yeah, that's what I thought. Um, they're, in, they're they're telling your person, like, get yourself together. Get yourself, clean up your act. Clean up, your, you really love Virgo. You really, like, Virgo is the one you always talk about, Virgo. You guys have been going at this for so long. There's been so many problems, like, and it's all because of you. Because you keep messing things up. Like, clean up your act and go and do right by Virgo. Right? Get your together and go and do right by Virgo and at least make the offer at least make the offer and you know if you've messed up I hear them telling your person if you've messed up go and make amends and see if there's anything to salvage Virgo might not take you back but you you have to at least make amends for this the stuff you've done so I feel like these two people are really giving your person some real good guidance because I, I do feel like your person went to them and, you know, maybe just kind of poured out their heart. They spilled their cups and talking about their loss and their grief and also that they wanted, your person wanted to marry you or they were, they, they always knew that you were the one for them. So, yeah, I, I do feel like, like with the Page of Cups, you know, this is definitely, um, coming in with some kind of like tiptoeing in very gently um not forcing anything on you just hoping that you will talk to them or at least accept their apology or you know um because i feel like virgo this person wants to marry you you like they want to be your with you you know and and have these things here and um virgo i don't really feel in this reading that you need to tell this person what they need to do because i feel like this person is hearing it externally to you so if you're in separation i do feel like your person has gone to others and is like lost you know they're lost are they in loss you know they they just are having a hard time and I feel like there's other things that are happening behind the scenes without your input. Because I feel like this person is already aware. Maybe you've already told them you need this person to not be deceptive. You need them to be truthful with you, you know, and you want it, you know, to something <clears throat> long term to build with them. And, you know, for whatever reason, I mean, if they had some kind of monkey on their back, I mean, uh, until they were ready to... <sighs> get themselves together it was never going to happen and for some of you maybe you had to leave the relationship in order to save yourself and whatever happens to them you might have just been like well hope for the best and I hope they figure it out but you just finally like in this place here or were where you can't you can't you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink you know and I feel like I'm just seeing this behind the scenes thing where this person is really like it's hitting them, you know, um, so much so that they got to open up to others and, and try to get some help or figure out what to do. Maybe they went to their parents, you know, um, because I do feel like this person is definitely in love with you. I mean, there's definitely love here. Here's the King of Cups who was very noncommittal couldn't like this is a card this seven of cups always to me is like someone who lives in fantasy land or some kind of addictions or just someone who you know always chasing the waterfalls or you know 
never satisfied with what they have, with what what's tangible around them. They're always going after things that they can't, they feel like they can't have, the, you know, the, the mysterious fantasy dream-like state. You know, so it, that could have been somebody you were dealing with a water sign. It could have been a, it, all the signs are here. The only sign not here specifically might be earth, but I did feel like there might have been a Virgo, but that doesn't mean it's not, you know, it's not your person. Okay. It's just the energy. This, I feel like, um, your person was definitely like, they're showing up because this is so much, a little bit like yesterday along the same lines as yesterday go back and listen to yesterday's reading i do feel like this person um <clears throat> like all this cup energy uh, decisions based on how they feel and when you base your decisions on how you feel if your feelings change all the time <laughs> you're just gonna be a mess like you're just gonna be a mess okay yeah there's your third party i knew it was gonna show up third party interference heartbreak loss and i don't feel i mean for some of you if you know there was a third party involved in human form another um person another body yeah that could be it could also be um something the, the the third party being the devil energy you know the temptation and and um of the of addiction or bad habits or um living very sinful or someone who's like an alcoholic or an addict or something along those lines a very heartbreaking situation yeah um so basically in a nutshell i feel like this person is they're feeling the loss for sure and they know that they have to get themselves together and they need to heal and they're asking for help how to do that and they're hoping that um as they take this new journey that you are going to either accept them back or you know they're definitely going to be a proposal of some sort or and some kind of an apology proposal maybe later but definitely an apology or some type of sweet message coming toward you hoping that you will talk like a it's kind of like an i'm sorry kind of thing um but they're ready to make a change they're making a lifestyle change this is not just this doesn't feel to me like someone who is like i mean this feels like all uh, like the whole like their whole life it feels like a whole life change it it doesn't feel like um okay i've just decided to date you very simple um or i have more time now i'm not working as much and now we can see each other more no this feels like an entire lifestyle change and i don't know is that something you were wanting virgo i mean do people get themselves together yes um it's often the exception to the rule Sometimes people just never see their own demise. They're a detriment to themselves. And sometimes people don't change and you just have to move on with your life. You know, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry. So I kind of feel like this is an exception to the rule scenario. All right. I need, I need you to know that. And what that means is, yeah, there's your apology. What that means is just not guaranteed for every single one of you. Okay. Take that take this message with a grain of salt. And like I said yesterday in the reading, you know, when it happens, then you can confirm it. And then you can just kind of be like, okay, this is kind of in alignment with what House of Virgo was saying. But until that happens, I mean, you can, you can hope for the best, you know, but you can expect the apology you want to hear. So I do feel like somebody's going to come in here and apologize um, for either treating you like only a friend or less than that. Um, maybe some of you, uh, something ended and you decided, well, um, it's not going to work out. We're just not compatible or this isn't going to work out uh, and remained friendly with each other. That might have also happened. And the energy there is, you know, this person coming in an apology, but, you know, wants more than friendship. If you're in a friendship situation, are you just talking casually, but you're no longer together? This person, yeah, like, I feel like I just, they keep giving me the same cards. This person's just longing for you. Like, they secretly have a thing for you and probably always have, but, you know, their, their detriments were in the way. Their obstacles, everything that was holding them back, they couldn't overcome those things. I think Virgo the loss 
is what's making this person realize that all they're left with is these futile attempts of fantasy nothing no no potential or hope left for love or uh, partnership or companionship all by themselves okay so you've got go slow similar to yesterday so if you're gonna like indulge this person your message here is take time to get to know each other go slow don't rush into anything with them because you know trust needs to be earned again Let's see what the Hidden Truth Oracle message is. Wow, the same as yesterday. First card out of the deck. I want you. Okay. So much crazy how that happens. I love you unconditionally. I wish I could share my good news with you. And what's that good news? That they're making these changes in their life. Okay. Let me get two more, please, Spirit. Um, oh. Weird, I thought it flipped out. Just being near you is intoxicating. <laughs> Virgo. The lights are on, but no one's home. Your will is not your own. Okay, who sings that? <laughs> your heart beats in double time. And do, do, and do, do, do. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to start singing. It's been a while, but I know you guys know that song. Um, I wish things could be different. Okay, yeah. So I feel like this person is definitely trying to make some changes here. Uh, let me get some Moon Pie Tarot messages here. Yeah, they're definitely trying to make some changes. Okay. Hmm. Secure home in the reverse. Okay. Um, that feels to me like... This person's got a, there's a new outlook or direction now, like a new option here. You know, I, I feel like the changes, you know, they always say like, once you give up your addictions and stuff and you like out into your life and then you let the light in, um, then all these blessings start happening to you. Um, once you like quit on that thing that's not working out for you you know you you pray about it you let it go then all of a sudden the doors start opening up for you that is a true thing and that really does happen um the secure home in the reverse that's the four of wands in the reverse this is this is basically like um somebody's in a poverty mindset like they've hit rock bottom here and they're completely vulnerable like their heart they're bankrupt like their heart is bankrupt and i feel like this person um um they're moving out of what energy whatever negative energy that they are in now okay um maybe they were living with their parents or someone they're leaving home there um they're done with the arguments and fighting they don't want any more of this craziness okay stand your ground this person is standing up for themselves um, or maybe they were in another relationship and they're leaving that relationship. Okay. So they're standing up for themselves so they can have their, their, their wishes. Go after their wishes, their emotional wish. This is a nine of cups. So for this person, is it's kind of like they're trying to, you know, have abundance and good health in their life. You know, there's, there's huge changes, Virgo, happening with this person. I mean, it's pretty profound. It's pretty profound. I mean, good for them. That's, I mean, like, I don't know who your person is, but if somebody's getting recovery, um, hold on, I want to get something. Sorry about that, you guys. You know, the other day I opened up a fortune cookie because um, we had Chinese food and I opened up a fortune cookie and I looked at the fortune and I thought huh that's interesting and then I just sat it on the counter left it there for a day or two went into the kitchen saw it again took it brought it over to my desk just sat it there and I'm like what are we gonna do with this thing I don't know this thing has some kind of purpose this fortune and I but I was like I gotta wait I gotta wait to hear what the message is going to be and right now is i'm going to show it to you because now it, it fully makes sense 
the fortune cookie says a gambler not only will lose what he has but also will lose what he doesn't have and i feel like what's going on with this person um they took risks and not only did they lose what they had but they also lost a whole lot more um more than just you they lost everything and that's the risk when you when you, if you're gambling that's the risk that you take you know you it could work out but when it doesn't work out you lose 10 times worse so uh, then you gain <laughs> i don't know i just felt like okay it just hit me now's the time to use it i always things always come to me and i never react to them i sit and i wait and then i'm always informed of what i need to do next what the time you know timing is everything all right let me get into um chinese signs i want to see what this person's chinese sign is see what yours is okay you've got year of the dragon so it could be you, could be them, could be both of you, could be none of you. It doesn't mean it's not your reading. Okay, Year of the Rat, Tiger, Horse, Monkey, Goat, Snake, Monkey again, and the Pig. Now listen, if you don't know your Chinese sign, just Google it, look up the year and the date of your birth, and it will t it, you'll, you'll see what your Chinese sign is, okay? Um, I don't know exactly who I'm talking to, so I don't know what year you're born. It's based on the year you were born. Look it up, and you will learn a lot about yourself based on your Chinese animal sign. Okay. Um, all right, let me get your your messages, your randoms, your names. Oh, well, that flew right out. Okay. Okay. So, University of California. And someone is, I'm just looking at her and I just saw, um, Somebody might be from Hawaii or Alaska or somewhere on in the Pacific coast, maybe um, anywhere. I'm feeling a country on the Pacific coast or a, a country attached to the Pacific Ocean. Excuse me, Pacific Ocean. Someone lives near the Pacific or on the Pacific Ocean. Okay. I don't know why I got that looking at her, but that was the first thing I saw. Okay. All right, we're just going to shuffle for a good long while. All right. Mm, okay, somebody's getting their blood drawn. I just heard that. Getting their um, their blood drawn for something by a nurse or a doctor, like in the office, or going to a lab somewhere. Either you just did, or you did today, or you're going. You have an appointment to go do that. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. So strange. Um, I'm seeing a girl with blonde hair. She wears her hair in a bun. Yoga pants. <laughs> Sometimes she wears her hair in a, a bun. Yoga pants. White sneakers. Wait. They just told me. Look at that. What kind of shoes are they? Nikes? Adidas? Vans? What kind of sneakers? They have a line that goes down the side. I don't know what kind of sneakers those are, but one of y'all wears... She just looks like... Somebody here looks like this chick. <laughs> just 
just they're just telling me somebody here looks like this chick this woman maybe some one of you are like i don't know getting in shape or doing some kind of exercises here or somebody practices martial arts okay um, they're giving me the initial S. Someone's name starts with an S, or there's an S in the name. I'm going to get like a, a deck of names. It's probably like a thousand cards or more in a deck of names. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. I'm having a hard time connecting. All right. They just said, right when I said that, and they just said, um, you need to talk to your cousin. Someone needs to talk to their cousin, or your cousin's going to be calling you or reaching out to you soon, okay, or vice versa. Somebody's cousin. All right, they just gave me the name Meg, Meg, Megan. <clears throat> Excuse me, Meg, Megan. Okay, we have an initial P, initial A, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, some of the names starts with an E, Elena, Eric, Edward, Edwin, Aaron, Eleanor, Elizabeth, a whole bunch of those names here, okay. Six years, Virgo. It's been six years. Six long years. I don't know what that means, but they're just telling me six long years. Rest in peace. Six years ago. Or six years. Rest in peace. Someone you maybe passed away six years ago. Now I'm see I'm hearing the a cat meowing. I'm hearing cat meowing. Okay. All right, that's okay. So they're showing me an a, an image or visual of a cat with a collar and a leash. Like somebody walks their cat on a leash. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a cat being a kitty on a leash. I don't think I've ever seen that. Um, <laughs> and I could go down a completely different road there, but I'm not going to. Um, so you just get out of the mind out of the gutter. But yeah, I'm seeing they're showing me a kitty cat on a leash. So I don't know. Maybe you put a leash on your cat to take your cat to the vet. Um I guess people do it. I don't know. Somebody I'm just seeing, and this cat is blackish, like with white spots. Maybe you catch a cat. <laughs> catch a cat. Put a leash on it. I don't know. There's something to do with with that little pussy cat. Something to do with a leash as well. Um, And I see someone here who is really, really, really excellent with time management, like has perfected the skill of time management. I don't know who that is. One of you is like, you got it down pat. You're never late. Maybe you used to be. Um, I don't know. You're, you're managing your time very well. So I don't know if like you're managing time. Maybe you're Maybe you're working on timesheets or um, employee time cards or something. Like you're, or you're setting up a schedule for some people or doing something along those lines. Like you're doing really great with that. They're like, hey, good job, Virgo. You're doing real well with that time management schedule. <laughs> good luck with that. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right. Let's get this reading's not going to be too, too long tonight, you guys. I just don't have the hour. 
energy. It's because you know why I got up kind of late today and my schedule was off. So I wasn't doing good with my time management. I wound up going to the gym very late, which I like to not go late. I like to get it done early. So I had the rest of the day to do all the other stuff I do. And I got there so late. So I'm extra tired. Okay. I don't know why I'm telling you this. So, all right. Somebody here is definitely 40 years of age. That is the first thing I'm hearing. I'm also picking up double Taurus, another Virgo, and of course, the ever non-elusive Gemini. Okay. Now, let's keep this real simple tonight. Okay. 2025 is going to be a very significant year for some of you. I see some of, somebody getting married in 2025. Um, to a Sagittarius. Okay, they just said that real quick. To a Sagittarius. Somebody's marrying a Sagittarius in 2025. So that's like, what, a year and a half-ish away? Um, uh, somebody's also, okay. Somebody is also marrying, all right, here we go. Okay, so Sagittarius. I'm seeing a Scorpio and I'm seeing a Libra. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. We have the 111 here. So if that is something that you want, um, even if you're completely single and there's no one in your life, that's a, this is a completely separate message. I'm seeing that happening. Happening. Dun, 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 dun. I see that happening in um, 2025. You will be married. You will, or you will have a long term. You will connect with someone, and you, this will be your partner for life. And it's, they're either going to be Sagittarius, a Libra, or a Scorpio. Okay, take it or leave it. All right, let me see what else. Someone's born in nineteen eighty. Um, all right, September 9th is someone's birthday. Significant. We also have um, someone is between, all right, we got someone who's 44, 45, and 46. Also, September 1st, September 2nd, the 10th, and the 11th. We've got someone um, September 4th. Also have the 12th. The 19th, September 16th, and the 18th. And September 21st. Also, someone was born in 1970. Oh, stuff's going everywhere. Okay. So one seven five five significant number seven one one zero one one five four and one one five eight zero. And they're also giving me four, five, zero, eight. Um, let me see here. Is there anybody in August? How many August birthdays? Shout out to the August Virgos. Huh. No August birthdays showing up. I, I did say, no, I didn't. I'm not getting, all right, one more. August 31st, I just saw that. Okay, August 31st. Um, it could be an August 26th and the 27th. Okay, sorry, August birthdays. Doesn't mean it's not your reading though, so, you know, don't sweat it. 
if the reading resonated, it's definitely for you. Okay. So Capricorn twice, Virgo again, Taurus again. Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, one more. Okay, Capricorn, Aries, Taurus, and Taurus. Yeah, seems like kind of a similar thing keeps coming out here. Um, let's get a couple charms. Let's just get one tonight so Mama Bear can go sleep. <laughs> okay, you got a little Tweety Bird. Um, some y'all on Twitter. Is anybody doing anything on Twitter? Little little Tweety Bird here. Um, It's also canary, I'm also hearing. Um, oh, yeah, they're saying like a canary in a coal mine here. Used to check to see if everything's okay. So somebody's going to be definitely checking up on you to see if everything's okay. I'm also seeing um, maybe there's a robin. You find a um, robin's nest with cute little robin's eggs. Or there's a bird making a nest somewhere outside of your house. So you're just seeing like a lot of birds. I mean, who's not seeing a lot of birds? Or maybe there's like this one particular bird that you really like, Virgo. Okay. Yeah. There's definitely something here. Um, a bird might land somewhere like near you, like really close to where you are, which will seem very strange. That might have already happened to you. Um, but like so close to you and is not afraid and is not flying away and is just sitting that's a that's a message um that's a visitor someone that um letting you know that they're there they're watching they're there with you in spirit um so that's a real strong message for someone something to do with that bird there okay and actually all right you guys Looks like I got to end it. So I will see you guys all back here tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Love you all. See you later.